having the microphone would have been a good idea. Um, so here is my new video converter, HD video converter. Um, Freemake has recently decided to be a butt munch and stick their um, logo on everything and limit what I can use it for, so I got this new one. And it's pretty much the same concept. Uh, actually, sometimes it's a little easier to deal with this. Um, so you just drop your video in there. And then don't click up here unless you want to change it from MP4. Um, MP4 is best for um, YouTube and Nico Nico Duga or whichever Nico Nico you're um, uploading to. But, sorry, I just woke up. As you can see, it's like 7 in the morning. Um, then I wanted to do a video for this because I was thinking about it. Um, so... What you're just going to have to do is just click run and it will run it. It also works a lot faster than Freemake did. Uh, see, it's only going to take a little bit of time. It actually used to take like um, 10 minutes to render a normal sized AVI file. Um, you can see it even shows little cutscenes of what you're getting. <laughs> Which I think is pretty cool. Um, and the progress bar is the bar with all the information in it. Um, you can rename it. I don't know what this does. You can change the audio file if for some reason you didn't like the music that you used and you found a better like, cover or something of the music. You can switch it out after you've done. Yay! Um, you could do that on Freemake too, but I don't know if you could have done it with the updated version. Uh, but I know you can do it with this version. Um, then it's got the trim tool, the crop tool, the magic wand tool. Um, some stuff. It can do some stuff that Freemake couldn't do. Uh, I'm sorry, I have really bad allergies right now, too. My mouth hurts from... Ugh, just... Ugh. So, yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. Um, as you can see, this is the resolution in MMD. It also tells you the resolution. I don't remember ever seeing the resolution in... Um, I don't remember ever seeing the resolution in Freemake. But that just might be me not paying attention. Um, so who knows? So it does you have time how long it is, huh? I wasn't even paying attention to anything that's going on on this thing. Uh, it went to do that, it will upload actually rather quickly onto YouTube because MP4 files are ideal for YouTube. Yep, so that's pretty much all you have to do. And then it will show up in whatever designated folder you have. If and if you don't know what folder you have. And you accidentally didn't do your settings beforehand. Sorry about that. Um, just open the folder like that. And it will open whatever folder you rendered into. Let's just throw that away. Cause, and you can also throw your file away. Before it's you close the program and then you just go to your upload page oh I'm so sorry this is so I know it's really gross and I keep doing this noise and then you can just upload it although it does add extra things to your title but it's not like it's a big deal alright alright that's not a big deal for you guys to just delete it some of you don't even name your titles you just put like video render or something like that so, I hope this was helpful for you. Sorry, I'm like stretchy while I'm talking. Um, you see it uploads really fast when you have it on MP4. So, yeah, um, I hope this tutorial was helpful. I'm sorry it was very loud, but like I said, I just woke up. It's 7 in the morning. It's not even 7 in the morning still. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah, bye.